Hi everyone, merhaba. This is Ayşenur Altan. We are in Trabzon, Akçaabat. In Lermiyoğlu Konağı. It's in Orta Mahalle District. It's a very beautiful small town with beautiful houses, konak houses. Lermiyoğlu Konağı is one of them. The lady who owns the Konak uh, lived here. She was born here, actually, in this beautiful Black Sea view. And with dear Zeynep, we cook these traditional Trabzon dishes. We have black cabbage sarma, karalahana sarması, kaygana, and kuymak. I have these two recipes already on my channel, but I still learned some tips from her, and we're gonna give you now. So let's begin to make it. First, we begin to make kuymak. She has one tablespoon butter in one pan and one in other for serving. And she's going to saute one heaped tablespoon corn flour. Yani bak şimdi salmaya başladı, toprakla mı yapıştı? <gülüyor> Kendini ha. bırakıyor. Evet tamam bırak. Helva gibi. Evet. Bit in about two minutes. Zaman zaman. She adds the water. <gülüyor> Gradually she added about two thirds of a cup water or little less. Şimdi bunun altını tamam. kapatıyorum. Tamam. Telli peynir atıyorum ona. Yapma sen üstüne koy. Then she stirs everything vigorously until cheese melted and it's ready. It's very easy to make comforting dish. You can eat at breakfast or as a quick lunch. Normally we use string cheese that is especially made for kuymak, but you can experiment it with a different kind of melting cheeses. And of course I had to take a picture of this oozing delicious kuymak. See how beautiful black sea is? With this kuymak delicious. Yes, that. Oh, you don't my wash. But Aa. right now it's hot. Sıcak. We are making kaygana together with Zeynep now. Bir iki kaşık un koydum. Bir tutam tuz koydum. Tamam. Hadi. Evet. Biraz su döküyorum. Ne bu şekilde? Tabak olunca. Hı hı. Bu arada ocağı da yapıyoruz. Bir tabak. Tamam. Ondan sonra üç tane yumurtayı. She continued to cook, swirling little bit from time to time until the top is set. In Black Sea region cuisine, we use this lid a lot, which fits into the pan. It's very easy to uh, turn whatever you are cooking. It could be fish from the previous episodes, could be börek or in this case kaygana. Bayağı yağ koyuyorsun. Çevirdikçe. Şimdi o yağ biraz çekiyor ya. Evet. Sonradan çevirdi mi tekrar. Zaten tamam. kaygana yağ sever. Hı -hı. Ama krep değil. Evet, evet. Hı -hı. So far do you have like best place? 
I have already seen. Because they have great honey there mm -hmm. and great cheese. Yeah, yeah. And we bought okay. it. Okay, thank you. Bye. <laughs> The third recipe is Kara Lahana Sarması Stuffed Kale First she begins to saute two medium size onion She says adding the salt at the first hand makes it easier to saute We're gonna use black cabbage kale from the freezer She just boiled for a couple of minutes and uh, freeze it to use it any time of the year. Uh, you can also use chart, which we call puzzle. She added about two cups of washed and drained rice. Sardıktan sonra da bir şey yapacak ya. Hı hı. Yaprağı bilinç çatlatıp da yaprağın dökmemesi için hı. yani dışarı bilinç saçılmamak tamam, için. Hafif bir olacak. Ne kadar? Bir güne kadar. Ha tamam. Benim Ay, benim yapacağım. Ölçüyle gidelim. Ölçüyle gidelim. Bu böyle suyunu çekiyor. Alt kısık olarak. Tamam. Bir de bayağı bir gibi. Baharat olarak pul biber. Tercihe göre isteyen fazla atar, isteyen daha az atar. Nane, taze nanesi olan taze nane koyar. Karabiber. Meanwhile, we are checking the kaygana dish. It actually cooked only for a couple of minutes. We begin to make the filling for the stuffed kale earlier. I just wanted to give the whole recipe together. That's why we see the final look of the kaygana at the end. You see how puffed up it is? We are making it together at the same time because if someone comes to eat, she has to serve them. She but she's did. very practical. And now it's time to roll it. We wanted to make it outside with the beautiful Black Sea Coast view behind us. Okay, she cut the uh, thick part. And the shiny side is down. And we put, we're gonna put the filling uh, along with the vein. Yes. She's really practical, fast. Çok hızlısın. We're gonna uh, continue to roll until it is filled and uh, actually we don't have much time since uh, we're gonna show the one that is already cooked. So to make it more flavorful uh, she's gonna add uh, onion on top. I think is it, it is already filled. until it's not gonna go on top think if it's like this it should be here the water about half an hour on very low heat 
Now let's see the final result. Okay, my friends, we made the traditional Trabzon dishes with uh, Dear Zeynep Nadir. And uh, I'm very pleased you see the Black Sea behind us. It's so beautiful, breezy right now. We made our black cabbage, sarma, kaygana, egg dish and kuymak, of course the best. It's must must have for breakfast, also the kaygana. They always serve it here in Akçabat. The sarma is also very delicious. She's very practical. Thank you so much. Çok teşekkür ederim. Bu hemen kısa zamanda yaptığın için. Lermioğlu konağına da çok teşekkür ediyorum ayrıca. Melike Hanım'a. Let me taste one. It's very nicely cooked. You can understand even from the leaf. You can just falls apart. Bayağı sunmuş. It's very hot. Taste of the black cabbage really makes the difference. It's not very sour like the grape leaves, but it has its own taste. Seasoning is just perfect. You can add a bit more if you like, but nothing else. You can taste the black cabbage. So delicious. And the salad, çok güzel olmuş. So give it a try. The recipes. Check the links down below. And you are visiting all over the country, I think. You came from Van, you said? We, we in Arizona. Van to Ani and uh, Cars. Cars, And yes. then uh, on to Erzurum. Mm -hmm. And then uh, here, a long way around mm -hmm. to Trabzon. Trabzon, yeah. yeah. So Turkey is awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love the people. This beautiful scarf, uh, a wonderful Turkish grandmother gave to me last oh, night that's as we were just visiting them as strangers. Mm -hmm. And they were very friendly and nice. The food is delicious. I love the food here in Turkey. Mm -hmm. And everyone's just so nice. And mm -hmm. it, it, the temperature, weather is awesome. So, I'm happy yes. to hear that. Ani is a must-see. Ani, A-N-I. Ani mm -hmm. is a must-see. It's next to the Armenia border. Okay. It's right beautiful. Next to it. mm. um, ancient, ancient, uh, I wouldn't say Ruin. ruins. I mean, the, yes, it's ruins. called ancient ruins, but mm -hmm. it's... Mm -hmm. yes. So far, do you have, like, best place? You have already seen? You can see. I enjoy cars a lot. Cars. Mm -hmm. Because they have great honey there mm -hmm. and great cheese. Yeah, yeah. And we bought lots of fruit and lots of and bread and cheese and honey. And I love the baklava. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. nice. Okay. Have a nice trip. Thank you so much. Okay. Nice thank meeting you. You, nice you can check my channel. Thank okay. You. Bye. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> August 30, uh, they have celebrations and uh, they will also going to make a show with the uh, famous dance in Akçabat Horon. I'm very excited, so let's go. Erkek Halk Oyunları ekibini sahneye davet ediyorum.
My friends, it's our last day in Akçabat. We're gonna go back to Istanbul as a final word. It was a nice uh, six days, mostly in Akçabat. I tried to show you the culture, the food, the people, the dance in the last day. It was really hot, but now it's almost September. And September 1st is the uh, first day to go fishing officially. So they are preparing right now. I wish I could stay and uh, film them because it's also the city for the fish. Fishing, of course, as you can see with the blessing of the Black Sea. So I hope you enjoyed. I gave you a glimpse of the Trabzon city. Of course, it's not everything, but the mountains, uh, the green forests and the Black Sea, the food, it has many, many places to discover. Make sure to come and visit Trabzon. I have many other episodes about it. Watch them from the links. And I hope to see you in another delicious Turkish food recipes and travel vlogs. Bye.